This is the story of the first genocide of the 20th century. The film tells the tale of a young German ethnologist studying indigenous peoples in Namibia and collecting their skulls for scientific experiments. Meanwhile, colonial troops are unleashing a massacre on the Herero and Nama peoples. Measures of Men, directed by Laus Kama, depicts the crimes of the former German colonial power. With his film, the director wants Germans to face their historical responsibility. Germany suffers from a true collective amnesia. People either don't know or pretend not to know that Germany was a colonial power. This film aims to convey this history to the general public who have not yet questioned the issue of ethnological collections and restitutions. Colonial crimes and the genocide, which took at least 70,000 lives between 1904 and 1908, remain largely unknown to the German public. In Berlin, only a commemorative plaque reminds people of the horrors of colonialism, but it was placed in a military cemetery at the foot of a monument paying tribute to colonial troops. Sad but not surprising, says Israel Konatieke, a Herrero living in Berlin for over 40 years. For me, this plaque is a disgrace. The stone is big, the plaque is at the bottom. It clearly shows how this society still perceives things. In 2021, Germany officially recognized the genocide and offered over a billion euros in development aid. But for Israel Konatieke and activists for the rights of the Herero and Nama peoples, it is far from enough. We want apologies, recognition of the genocide and reparations for what we've lost, including the theft of our land. Many people are still unaware of all of this, but things are starting to change and that's why the German government should change its current stance and say, Yes, we acknowledge international law and we will negotiate directly with the descendants of the victims. The Namibian government now wants to renegotiate the genocide agreement reached with Germany in 2021, but the government says it won't.